Being an online business owner, you are familiar with basic concept of e-commerce allowing to easily build and manage an online shopping portal. But when it comes to building a multi-vendor marketplace where different products and services are provided, you can understand a huge powerful solution is required. At Webcool, we take special pride to offer you our CS Card multi-vendor marketplace designed for e-commerce platform for building sophisticated online marketplace. As a website owner, you will get the access of administrator along with ability to control sales, product and other store settings. So let's look how our marketplace work. Hello, now let's today start about seller login blog. First of all, let us go to the design tab and click on the layout. It is basically the default editing page so if we click over here in the front end here we can view the quick link my account and seller account block and same in the front end here is a quick link my account and seller account so to learn how to add a block to your grid first of all let us delete this block now same let us look at our front in our front end see my seller account is being deleted so now how to create a block for that you need to just click on your this add go to add block go to create new block and select seller account give a name to your seller account for front end create now to provide a setting to your seller account go to the block option go for wrapper and click on on click drop down as a default save and close now let us view our front end so here is our quick link my account and seller account now let us start with how to create a layout page so let's uh, for example let us select my profile preview so this page is basically blank as we haven't selected any page layout yet for this page so now how to create a my profile preview page layout so for that let us go back to our backend so once we go back to our backend, here is the default editing layout page. Let's click on the add layout page to create a new page layout. The dispatch selection should be custom and let us just type out marketplace my profile preview so this is the custom name so this shouldn't be any changes from now let us type a name for here this one so here's the seller profile let us choose this one and create so once we create the seller profile you can view over here now let's get down scroll it down so here is our content so before creating a page layout let's learn how to create a grid so first of all let us go to the plus option add a grid over here set the width of the page i'm sorry set the width of the grid content alignment is the full width offset is zero create so once you have created with a grid of 16th width 
now let us create two more grid add a grid let us select four as the grid width we are again with a grid and one more so let us set it as 12 as the width so this is basically our grid formation now to create a block inside a grid let us again click on this add option add a block to it create a new block let us search for template block so here is the template block just click on it now let us find out what which template should we choose for okay let's select the seller profile preview of our image block so once we are done with this template let us select the name so uh, let me tell you that the template and the name of the block it's not necessary should be same so you can choose accordingly okay so create over here so once you create it so here is the seller profile preview of the image block now let us find out how it looks in the front end let's go to the seller account my profile preview now here is the this beautiful block wow it's look ex excellent and awesome now let's get back to the back end and go for creating another block add a block over here go to the template option again select the template uh, now let us select the seller profile preview main block now set a name over here it's a seller profile preview main block we are giving create and once we have created it let's now look at what's going on in our front end get back to the seller account my profile preview now here is the profile main block so again let's go back to the backend let's create few more blocks to it add a block over here again create a new block choose template sorry yeah choose template create a seller profile preview seller shop uh, let us name it as seller shop create and let us create a last block let's go to the add block create a new block template let's go for uh, for example seller location map block let us name it as seller location create so once we are done with it now let us view it in our front end go to the seller account my profile preview now here is our page layout so we are having here the seller location seller shop here is the avatar image and here is the seller main block now how would this seller profile would be helping the seller in the demos 
so let's go to the demo uh, for example let us select this home decorator web cool demo company too now this is the seller profile so whenever a customer would be getting into the storefront and looking or searching for any pro uh, product so he or she would be able to view the seller details and that would be helping in the promotional activities of seller now after creating the my seller profile let us now design our my product so let's go back to the front end go to the seller account and next is the click on the my product tab so as you can see this page is blank so we need to make a layout of this page so let's go back again to the back end now what exactly we should do it's just a very few easy simple steps just go to the add layout page click on it now select your dispatch as custom so after selecting just write down marketplace dot seller underscore products so this should be the exact uh, name so your custom name would be marketplace dot seller underscore products now let us write down the name of our layout page let it be seller products create so once you create your seller products go down go to your content now it's the time for the grid formation go to the plus symbol add a grid let us select the width of the grid as 16 create now let us create two more grids add a grid take the width as 4 create and the last one add a grid select the width as 12 create so here comes your grid formation now we need to create the block inside our grid so let's click on this add add a block go to create new block search for the template option click over here in the template go to the seller category block uh, let us uh, write uh, that's name as seller category So user can set any name by his choice so it depends on user which name he would refer for his block create now here is a seller category let us see how it looks in our front end let's go to the seller account click on my product so here is the seller category as you can see now let's go back to our backend now let us make two more blocks for it click on add add block go to create new block click on template now let us select template as a banner block and let us give this name as seller banner create now 
same like this so let us create a last block over here create a new block go to template now choose your template as seller prep product view block now let us select the name as seller product create so once we are done with the block let us view our front end that how exactly it looks now go to the seller account click on my product so here comes your beautiful page layout as you can see here is a seller category the banner option and the seller product now after creating the seller profile and seller product let us create another layout page that would be the last layout page we would be creating and it's my pending product now let's go to our front end click on seller account click on my pending product tab as you can see it's blank now what exactly is my pending product my pending products are the products which seller has already created but waiting for approval of admin so this is basically the pending products of seller now let's go back to our backend click on the add layout page to create my pending product go to custom let's name our custom as market place dot my pending product so this is the custom name recommended and let us now put the name as my pending product create so as you can see a page layout has been created as my pending product now let's go down go to the content let us again create our grid formation add a grid choose the width as 16 create again add a grid choose the width as 4 create and the last one add a grid choose the width as 12 and create so your grid has been formed now let us create block inside it go to the plus symbol add a block create a new block go to the template option select your template as seller category block write down here as name as seller category create So as you can see a block has been created as seller category now let us view in the front end go to seller account click on my pending product and as you can see a seller category has been created now let's go back to the back end create few more blocks for it add a block create 
create a new block go to template now let us select the template as seller banner block write its name as banner create so here is our banner now let us create another block create new block go to template select a template that seller product view block right here as product create so as you can see we have created our blocks now let us go to the front end click on seller account go to my pending product So here is the seller category, seller banner and as you can see there are no products which are found. Uh, it means that the admin has given approval for all the products the seller has created. That's all. Thank you. Thank you and for more info please raise a ticket over.